Can an Israelite captive, wrenched from all she loves, serve the very man who destroyed her village? Let's talk about it. Welcome to DeputyTribe.com. I'm Cassie Deputy, and today with me I have... Hazen Deputy, Alicia Deputy, Ahava Deputy. And today we are going to be talking about this book called The Heart Changer. Now this is written by Yarm Del Bosio. And basically this is the story of Miriam and Naaman. Second, no. Second Kings chapter 5 is where you can actually read this story in the Bible. So now what Yarm did is she wrote this and she took in um, Israel culture and the Jewish culture and she wrote this as if she were in Miriam's shoes. So Miriam gets um, captured from her village and becomes the servant of the wife of Naaman, who ends up with leprosy. Um, now he Naaman. is the commander of the Syrian army. He's a very strong man of power. So it's called the heart changer because Miriam goes through a lot of things where her heart is very angry and hateful towards the Syrians, specifically Naaman and his Naaman. wife and the families that that she's serving, they drove her and her people out of her land and killed a lot of people. Her heart goes from very hard and angry. She's confused, she's asking God questions. Yahweh, why did you allow this to happen? And it kind of gives us a perspective of what her struggle and her heart might have been. But by the end of the book, her heart changes and she is wanting the best for her master and she wants him to get healed. So that's kind of the brief overview. This is meant for a middle grade historical novel that reflects the heartache and angst of a young refugee in a foreign land where all hope seems lost. We all read it separately and we haven't, haven't even had a chance to discuss it together yet. I didn't read the whole thing. You've gotten pretty far through it, almost through it. So, we're gonna discuss it. So what did you guys think? I liked it a lot. It's like my second favorite book that I've read. That you've ever read? Yeah. Cause my first what did you guys think about the first few chapters as she was being captured and she was being introduced into servanthood life? And it wasn't I didn't as exciting as the ending part. Oh, yeah. you think the ending was most exciting? Yeah. When she goes back to her hometown, cause she like, did and she, she run away? Does she go back home? Oh, at the end? And then yeah. when she finds her like, like the brother she's always wanted. Oh yeah. Her friend. Her friend in the. In... Joa John Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. And doesn't she meet one of her friends in the middle of the book? And then she figures out that her parents are okay. At the end? Yeah. Yeah. When she, when her friend Justin tells her. So we're hopping all over the book. We're not talking about the beginning. Let's talk about the beginning. When she got captured. Remember, she was in her city. It literally starts with her mom screams. Um, they're shielding her baby brother. They're trying to escape. There's people running through the streets screaming. It's terror. There's dust with the, you know, soldiers running through the town. Um, she gets separated from her family, right? Yeah. The one guard picks her up and carries her. She, you know, gets selected by the officer, and she gets carried into a land she didn't know. Yeah, and then there was this old lady that was protecting her just because she was the like, queen. Yep. Yeah, yes, or whatever. Yeah. Really hated that man, didn't she? Yeah. She deals with a lot of hate in her heart in the beginning. And she meets her friend who was also taken. She's faced with with different things, with different culture. Like, she's forced to eat food and she doesn't know what's in it. Remember that? Yeah, like, yeah. So pig. she struggles with, yeah, with, like, pig. Well, Jehovah, forgive me if I ate this and I don't know what's in it, you know? Did she eat it? Yeah. So, yep, she ate it. And, and then yeah. she ran into that um, mean servant girl. So she oh, was replacing Reina. 
in the in the as the commander's maid yeah maid servant wife's maid servant and so she was really mean to her do you want to share what happened with that um well she didn't like Miriam just because Miriam was taking her place also she didn't like that Miriam was a Hebrew mm -hmm. so they she got switched Miriam had to share a from lodging with Reyna. Yeah, she did. And then they became friends. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also, didn't and she, she break one of the... Reyna, she accidentally broke Reyna's god. Yep. Because she was looking at it. And she asked, she tried to clean it up and tried to fix it, but Reyna didn't want her to. Yep. So her and Reyna are continually butting heads yes. throughout the story. Yep. Her heart changes. What are some of the things in the book that slowly started changing her heart? Do you remember? When she, um, she found the, uh, little god that, uh, thief Someone was stole. trying to take. Okay. But then she, she was going out to the garden and she saw him. He was, like, she, like, he saw her and started running through the fields. And then she fell asleep under a big leaf patch. Okay. And she found the little bag with the Trusted her, her mistress, right? Isn't yeah, that what she was called? Her. Said that she trusted her more. She was like a mother to her. And then Naaman got leprosy. And they were going to sacrifice their daughter Vashti. Jehovah was angry at him. Yep. For he did something wrong. So they were they had to sacrifice something very meaningful to them. They but Miriam got to speak up. And, and Miriam actually had a lot of opportunities to share who Yahweh or Jehovah was with the Syrians, didn't she? Yeah. She got to share with Naaman. She got to share with her mistress. Yeah. Adar. 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 And then they ended up all going back to Israel. Yeah. To find Elisha. But so the end is really intense because you don't know, is Miriam going to run away? Is she going to try to escape? Is she going to stay faithful to her? you know, mistress and her new master? Is she going to see her family? What happened to them? Are they safe? Are they still living in their home? So there was a lot of excitement at the end. But there was a lot of good discussions that we can have from this book. I mean, we can talk about how bad things happen, and it may not be something that we like or not or put ourselves in but god put miriam there to be there for naaman yeah so that someone could tell naaman how to get healed and it also helped her in those rough times having to tell naaman yeah and then seeing that miracle yeah yeah that helped her a lot that did too. i mean her faith is probably stronger than it ever would have been if she hadn't have been captured and yeah. and all that yeah well and imagine naaman's heart after he was healed by the one true god I mean, who knows? Maybe his entire household came to know God. I think it did. Yeah. And definitely his wife and daughter. daughter. And then all of Syria. You know? Because he's the one of the chief commanders of the military. Wasn't king? the king... I mean, think of the influence that Miriam was able to have. So we don't know what situations we're going to face in life and how God's going to use them for his kingdom. It's cool how Wait, God we'll have, can just use one simple do? thing that yeah. can just spread. Yeah. What did the That's king exactly do? Right. He chopped down his idol? I don't know. I don't know if the Bible says what happens after. We'll have to go read it. Well, along with this book comes a study guide. So I will show you on her website how to access that study. Okay, so here's the website, Ambassador International. If you scroll down, it shows you the different places that you can purchase this book. Continue to scroll down and there's this white button that says the Heart Changers Teacher's Guide. If you click on that, it opens up the teacher's guide for you. Now this includes information about the author, her favorite Bible verse, um, just some interesting facts about her. Then it has a bunch of different things to get to know Miriam, who's the main character in our book. There's some questions that you can ponder on. Is it okay to question God? Why was Raina's heart jealous of Miriam? Have you ever felt jealous of whom? Some great discussion questions. Here's some information to research the setting of the book. And then here are some activities relating to the heart changer. Let's take a look at one of these. Look up the word heart in scripture. Make a list of the kinds of hearts we can have. Describe the heart in these verses. 
Then there is some other websites for information. Here are some recipes from Syria and directions on how to make things. So as you can see, you can really make an all-inclusive, either a quick study, a Bible study, or you can turn it into a unit study of Syrian culture and Israeli culture. So that is the teacher's guide. Um, overall, we loved this book. This author did a phenomenal job at capturing culture in the Middle East. Um, having been to Israel three times, and having been to Egypt, and having been to Jordan, and reading the sights and the smells, like she explains what spices they were smelling in the air, how they saw the sun and the heat and the palm trees, and um, how they were dressed and, and how the culture was. Like she really did a fantastic job at um, capturing exactly what it feels like. Like as I was reading this, I was longing to go back to Israel and walk through the open marketplace and see and smell and, and experience all those things because she really captured um, what it would have been like for a little Hebrew girl at that time. And she is a brilliant author. I would read any of her books again. This is one of those books where you just want to read through the first few chapters and then you accidentally finish the book. Um, so it was really good. We loved it. Great job. Um, so go ahead and check out the links below. You can get a link to this book, get a link to read more reviews on this book, um, a link to our website. Go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter. Give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And we will talk to you later. This made me want to go to Israel. Yes, this made them want to go to Israel. They're actually saving up to go. So. I'm not. Please not subscribe. Please oh, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up.